from the team you can trust. This is News 8 at 11. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. Our top story tonight, sweeping changes for the structure of the Rochester City School District could be coming as soon as next year. Yeah, so the Rochester City School District held a public meeting today on their proposed reconfiguration plan. Dan Gross attended the meeting today and joins us now in studio to break it all down. Dan. Hi, Adam. Hi, Teresa. Superintendent Carmine Peluso gave a nearly 45-minute presentation today on that reconfiguration plan, a part of it proposing school and building closures. He also talked with us today about why he's proposing these changes for 2024. This proposed reconfiguration plan for the Rochester City School District follows their grade restructuring last year. At schools across the district, it's now pre-K through 6, 7 through 8, and 9 through 12. Now, this proposed plan, says Superintendent Carmine Peluso, is designed to streamline the district, better manage the geographic sprawl, get students in front of certified teachers, as well as dealing with a harsh reality, declining enrollment, and even a lower birth rate in the city. He says a focus on consolidating and making the best schools can help. Hey, right? When you go to the schools and see the schools that have been renovated and then you offer high quality programming, you get extracurricular and arts, I think, you know, once we start to do that, I, I think we can compete with anyone and anyone will want to be in our schools. This plan revolves around proposed closing schools and buildings. Schools closed, right, but those buildings still will be in operation. A building closure is we don't no longer leave that building for students. The buildings of schools number 20, 29, 39, 44, and 106 would be closed. 20, 29, and 44 would be given back to the city. The school closures would include six elementary schools, three middle schools, and Franklin Upper School and Northeast College Prep. Now, some of those would move around or be consolidated. For example, Franklin Upper and Lower Schools would close, but since the building would stay open, a new high school would be made in its stead. Board President Cynthia Elliott said one of her goals is to get students and charter school students back into city schools, while acknowledging that this is a hard ask for parents. It's, it's hard uh, because we know that there are families and our students who've made friends at schools, uh, who've developed these relationships, and now those are, they're going to have to develop different relationships. And now, Adam, going off of that, RCSD tells us today that parents and families are being notified of this proposal. Mm -hmm. Again, this is starting for next year. The notifications by robocall, text, and more. Now, coming up, they're going to have a number of what they call community conversation conversations rather those will be hosted at schools or nearby the schools with uh, families and kids this could have a huge amount of yeah. impact transformational you talked about buildings and yeah. schools obviously staff always part of the conversation did that come up tonight at all it did we had a little press gaggle afterwards uh, superintendent Peluso admittedly gave a couple different answers when it comes to staff, faculty, and even some higher up positions, but admittedly this is still a proposal, so they're still figuring a lot out at this point. But we did hear from the teachers union, and President Adam Urbanski told me that he's not expecting anyone, and at least in terms of teachers, to lose their jobs just to be located. By the way, you can find his whole statement, complete coverage, the RCSD put together a whole guide of impacts, and we have that online at rochesterfirst.com.